inventor of the Hollywood Stock Exchange virtual trading system used on many markets around the world, a top uh, broker in his own right, radio host, TV host, author Max Kaiser of MaxKaiser.com joins us every week or so now because he's just been so spot on like Gerald Salente and others. Uh, another reason to buy gold, Swiss uh, losing safety status, uh, CNBC, markets are down 138 points. The Dow is right now or 1.23%. Everything is going according to plan, like we told you three years ago. They'd have QE1, QE2, things would only get worse. Uh, and it's only uh, really deepening the crisis we're entering. Instead of writing off the tens of thousands of uh, trillions of uh, you know different types of derivatives, all the garbage... Instead of instead of just getting rid of that, instead of getting rid of the Ponzi scheme, the whole world must be fed into the wood chipper. And joining us to talk about the big developments, what this Swiss uh, lowering the uh, franc by 9%, saying they're going to buy currencies to keep it low, to try to hide the fact that uh, currencies worldwide are devaluing. Uh, what is this all about? What's happening with the euro? What's happening with the dollar? What's the next shoe to drop, uh, Max Kaiser? Because you know you got attacked, I got attacked, many others did for saying that things were in a depression and only going to get worse. Now it's evident we were right. Uh, so where is this going now, Max Kaiser? Well, of course, of course, uh, we were attacked because there's a war. There's a war on, and you have to expect that uh, you're going to be attacked. And uh, for the people on the other side who are saying that I'm causing some of these problems, I would expect that to hear that from the other, my enemy, the other side of this war. Uh, so this is uh, to be expected as the war heats up. Now, in terms of Switzerland, you know, Switzerland in the last few years has really gone completely against everything that people associated with Switzerland. First, they abandoned the gold standard. They sold a lot of their gold. Uh, the Swiss Central Bank sold tons and tons of gold a few years ago. Uh, then they allowed uh, U.S. tax authorities to open up the accounts of United Bank of Switzerland, UBS, uh, to uh, foreign uh, interests, uh, which goes against the law in Switzerland. They allowed the U.S. to, to act extra judiciarily to uh, go into their own system and to probe accounts. Then, now today, they're saying they're going to peg the uh, Swiss franc to the euro uh, in effect anytime the swiss franc gets to 120 to the euro they're going to open the spigots and print swiss francs infinitely ad infinitum uh, which of course is going to cause massive inflation which only benefits the people printing the money of course the central global bankers once again so switzerland has fallen switzerland has fallen to the global bank sting banking cartel and now I wouldn't be surprised if you see some, uh, you know, a, a gathering in some square in Zurich of the local Swiss people that are being screwed, like we've seen in uh, Athens and Cairo in Wisconsin and Madrid in all over the world. It's the global insurrection against banker occupation. Now it's hit Switzerland. Now, uh, please continue, Max. Well, let me uh, let me just bring something up, which I, I, I talked to Jaron about it a little bit, getting into this Ron Paul situation. You know, not only are we have the voting uh, machines that are rigged, we know this from previous elections, and not only do you have the polls that are rigged, and not only do you have the mainstream media that's rigged, but these so-called prediction markets are also rigged. I'm looking at the most, the, the biggest one right now, it's called intrade.com. And they have Ron Paul winning president uh, contract up there at 3%. Now, this obviously doesn't reflect the current uh, market. And the reason you get to a 3% probability is through market manipulation. And I've been, as you know, when you introduced me, I invented prediction markets. I invented virtual markets. And Intrade is a ripoff of the Hollywood Stock Exchange that came along and a couple of the people that I used to work with started in trade and i've written about how they manipulate markets and how dangerous it is when you are manipulating political markets you know every time you head into these elections you have big news stories quoting the probability on in trade but the in trade probability numbers are manipulated and you can see it right now with the ron paul contract they have them at three percent that's a manipulated number your listeners can go on to in trade right now it's a virtual market they use you know, uh, pretend money. It's not real money. 
and they can play the in-trade market and they can get his probability up higher. And in so doing, the media would be forced to report on that and, and to report on the fact that Ron Paul is now skyrocketing on the in-trade political prediction market. They can also sell short uh, those other two characters, Rick Perry and Mitt Romney. You can sell those two guys short on in-trade and drive their probability down. So in other words, I've always said, Alex, you've got to fight fire with fire. They use their platforms and counterfeit money and counterfeit media to present a counterfeit reality. To counterfeit, to, to counteract that, we have to go into the lion's den, go onto an in-trade market, get Ron Paul up to a 50, 60 percent probability of winning. Then Time will have to report that. Newsweek will have to report that. Drudge Report will have to report that, as they've done in the last three presidential cycles. Because it's a market, therefore it must be right. That's part of the market fundamentalism in America. This is, mar you know, America's, uh, you know, theocracy is based on worshiping market results. So if the market says it's what it is, then that must be with this direct word from God, the market God. So, if But the problem is the, the system, the controllers are in there manipulating the market. And so creating a fraud, that's why they can say, well, it doesn't matter if he's winning on the Internet. Ron Paul still can't win. Well, it doesn't matter if he's winning now in scientific polls. We still say he can't win. But more and more, they're losing control. And the next issue I wanted to raise, speaking of alternative media becoming the new media, as you know, the Drudge Report uh, really led with our articles last year exposing Big Sis's lies. We've got a new big report coming out very soon by Paul Joseph Watson on this. But here's the headline. Janet Napolitano, Drudge is just wrong on privacy. Well, no, it's, 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 it's Big Sis that's wrong. And she's like, how dare him put up photos of me where I look like an ogre? He's using real photos of her. How dare him run all these stories criticizing me? Well, most of those stories, especially last year, uh, were our articles. This shows it's getting to the system that people aren't buying their lies anymore. So as we get to this crisis of credibility, where does it go from here with the establishment? Well, just to, a quick little follow-up, just as you use the Google bombs to get stories listed on Google and therefore on mainstream media, I'm suggesting doing an in-trade prediction market bomb to make Ron Paul the leader on that market and to get his name as winning all other candidates. It'll have to be picked up mainstream media. The problem is a solution. But uh, Okay, your Skype's up, breaking up a bit. You. Your Skype's breaking up a bit, but, but just to be clear... Uh, you sent me a link, uh, intrade.com, and it's got a link to 2012 presidential election winner, individual open to suggestion. How does an intrade, the prediction market site, work? And so explain to, I mean, we have a lot of stock traders and others listening, but for the general public, how this works and what this does and what this means. Well, it's based on the technology that I invented. The virtual specialist technology, when you introduced me, you mentioned it every time. The virtual specialist technology, patent number 159176, the Kaiser patent. You're able to take in a virtual currency market all the collective bids and offers or buys and sells and generate a price. Now, this is, I designed this technology as a way to the manipulation. Unfortunately, it has fallen into the hands of Wall Street banks. The technology is now owned by Cantor Fitzgerald. Uh, and, and uh, people like Intrade who use this technology to use that platform to manipulate results. So the 3% probability of Ron Paul winning is a manipulated result. Be, and the way to, and I'm telling you as the inventor of the technology, the way to overthrow their manipulation is to do a Google bomb type Intrade attack to get masses of people to buy Ron Paul to presidential winner in, in 2012. And when he'd be higher than the other candidates on that site, it has to be reported by the news. Every, every single person. Max, I understand that. Three. Max, this is too important, and, and I want to get into some other issues. You're joining us via video Skype, but uh, we're going to just go to audio Skype with you here for a moment and come back to you because we're getting a bit more choppiness than we normally do when you join us uh, from Paris where you live. Uh, but a very interesting idea that you have there. I, I want to get into gold and silver uh, and the fact that gold went up, I don't know, 60 something bucks today, then they drove it back down. But regardless, you look at the 12-year graph, uh, it's it's going straight up. Uh, short term, where is gold going? Where are the other markets going? And where does this train end? On the current trajectory of the world financial markets, 
with the men doing God's work, like uh, Lloyd Blank Fine, wh where does where does this insanity end, uh, Max Kaiser? Well, if you'll indulge me one second here, if I can just take one other little digression. Um, we've been talking about Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan and all these banksters and how they've been interfering with markets and keeping prices like gold suppressed. I, I wanted to uh, remind you of a story that came out last year about the Teamsters. You know, Goldman Sachs had invested some of the pension funds of the Teamsters, and they put their money into a fraudulent derivatives-based product that lost 60% of the value very quickly. Uh, what the Teamsters did was they went down to Goldman Sachs' office and they said, either you give us your money back or we're going to break your legs. And uh, guess what? Goldman Sachs gave the money back. The reason I bring this up is because it's foolish to think that when you're dealing with a, with a, with a gangster like Goldman Sachs, a terrorist like Goldman Sachs, that you're going to appease them by talking them into doing the right thing or be acting in a moral way. They only understand one language, and that is uh, intimidation. That's the only language they understand. And if you, and America has had their money stolen, trillions of dollars, and therefore it's incumbent upon Americans to seek uh, redress. And since the courts won't help them, and since there's no uh, buddy to help them, they have to do what the Teamsters did. Go down to their office and get your money back and intimidate them. And it's a great story. It's on Google. You can do a search for it. I have it on my website. It's how the Teamsters beat Goldman Sachs. And uh, I think that's a, a blueprint uh, for the future. Now, to answer your question on the gold, uh, where, where is it going? Obviously, uh, gold is going much higher because it's the only currency in the world without what they, what's called counterparty risk. Uh, it, it is what it is. You don't need like a derivative contract, two parties trading with each other to create the the value in between those two parties. Gold has a value unto itself. It has intrinsic value. And that's why it's always been viewed as a reliable currency for thousands of years. Now, during the post-fiat currency era of 1971, going forward when Nixon went off the gold standard, essentially, uh, we went into a period believing that that fiat money could replace gold. And the average lifespan of fiat money, I just learned this myself, is 27 years. Now, the dollar has been around for 40 years as a fiat currency. You have to think of it in those terms. The U.S. dollar has only been around for 40 years in its life as a fiat currency. Yeah, it's been a Federal Reserve note completely for at least 40 years, so it's only in dollar in name only. It is a true, absolute uh, fraud. And so 40 years is very long in the tooth uh, for a fiat currency. I've done my own history. You're right. They rarely last past 30 years. Very long in the tooth. So we're coming to the end of an age. The bankers are saying, hey, bank of the world, you pay your carbon taxes, your VAT to us. We rule you. We've bought all the armies with fiat uh, dollars. How's that sound? Uh, will the armies and the bureaucrats follow them straight into Hades or will they wake up and start bringing these criminals to justice? Well, all, all the banks are consolidating. So the two biggest bankrupt banks in Greece have just merged. The stocks went up 30% that day. Now they're hitting all, new all-time lows. The two biggest banks in France, Society Generale and BNP, they're not talking about merging. Bank of America, which, of course, is one of America's biggest banks. They just got a $5 billion injection from Warren Buffett. They're now talking about going bankrupt, but instead they'll merge with some other entity like a Citibank or a J.P. Morgan. So all these global banks, the two big to fail banks are becoming even bigger. They're merging again, another huge round of mergers as a way to consolidate power in those very few bankers. So the trend toward this global superstructure of bankers who control everything underneath is well underway. And what we sacrifice, what the people of Greece sacrifice, the people of Ireland sacrifice, Egypt, Tunis, is sovereignty. That's what we have to give in return. Exactly. The people that engineered the fraud, it was in the news two weeks ago, 
you know, EU dictatorship, financial council to rule. Who is that council? The big mega bank heads. I mean, it's incredible that they've gotten away with it this far. And so what I'm getting from you, Max, is it just continues forever with them publicly robbing us, stealing everything with armed forces uh, doing it because they're ball headed and wear suits. And everybody knows old ball headed men can't hurt you. And so we've got to let them rule us. We've got to give our entire future to them. Uh, because they're now God of this planet. Well, see, the issue is that they are fraudulent and inauthentic. And as such, you can counterfeit endlessly. There's no end to the amount of fiat money you can. And they don't mind wrecking things and always posing as the same. They control the so-called media so they can wreck things and pose as the savior and then always get more power and then wreck more, get more power, wreck more, get more power, wreck more, blame other scapegoats. Folks really wake up, blow a building up, pose as the savior. I mean, uh, hand Libya to Al Qaeda. So what? I mean, I mean, it really is. So it just goes on and on with them trampling us and running over us and, and, and basically just, just until the public wakes up. But they, they won't. They like Rick Perry. They like the slick back hair. They like it. When they hear about him going to transvestite bars, he's called for war on Republicans. Hoffa says, President Obama, this is your army. We are ready to march. Let us take these sons of bleepers out. But they're always saying those of us that don't want big government are the ones that want violence. Big Sis attacks Matt Drudge, says, don't call me an ogre. He never called you an ogre. Uh, continuing Texas duel, Ron Paul goes after Rick Perry. We've got those articles up. Um, U.S. He's dropped on Israeli embassy in Washington. Uh, former FBI employee sentenced for leaking classified papers to an Israeli-connected mole. Uh, that's all going on. Uh, you can see the wildfires from space going on in central Texas. Uh, that amazing report's up at Infowars.com, also DrudgeReport.com. Uh, there is just so much going on. Uh, also, it turns out less insured people after Obamacare went through. Well, it was designed to do that. So this is just all part of the general free-for-all of corruption uh, going on. Finishing up with Max Kaiser. Uh, Max, uh, I was mentioning Libya, and then during the break you were saying you wanted to get into that. Uh, even Reuters is admitting, as so is RIA Novostat, EU official says Al-Qaeda acquires weapons in Libya and is now the main group taking over the major cities. That's completely confirmed. L.A. Times, you name it. Even Chuck Norris has got an article out talking about our article saying, why are they shifting from Al-Qaeda to the American people and, and, you know, why is our government helping al-Qaeda? Uh, any comments on that, Max Kaiser? Well, uh, yeah, I have a comment. It's kind of interesting. I haven't heard you talk about it yet. Uh, Unit Credit, which is the biggest bank in Italy, uh, their vice chairman was the head of the Libyan Central Bank. And the reason this is important is that when... You now notice that the European financial crisis has gone into overdrive, and Italy, just in the last two weeks, has has now going into a major meltdown mode. Uh, this was an unintended consequence of going in there and mucking around in Libya, uh, because Libya and Italy have this historic relationship going back decades, as people know, and there's tremendous amount of fraud and corruption between the Italian a banking system, the biggest bank in Italy, Unicredit, and the Libyan Central Bank, which is a huge central bank, given the fact that they have all of the oil uh, profits from all the Sure, it's only the black market keeping countries propped up, and now that little uh, deal's been screwed up. Yeah, exactly. So this is uh, just an interesting side note, that an, un an unintended consequence. I doubt seriously that when the U.S. stumbled in there, or NATO stumbled in there, that they thought through their actions and realized that if you screw around with the central bank in Libya, you're going to trigger a massive European bank default, which is now in progress. And a destabilization of those tens of billions of dollars tied up, not just in uh, Africa, but also in Europe. But why do you think they, at the end of the day, went into Libya and have now put Al Qaeda uh, uh, into control with reportedly them even getting heat-seeking missiles. And we're told, give all our rights up or Al-Qaeda will sneak into the window and drink our blood at night like Nosferatu. But at the same time, Al-Qaeda is good and friendly, and if you don't like them, you're evil. Well, you know, the history, the recent history is, of course, that Muammar Gaddafi was uh, on the terror list, but then he made good friends with Tony Blair, uh, the prime minister of Britain. 
and uh, magically he was uh, the amazed uh, waved his magic wand and he was part of the world community again and they were doing oil deals and weapons deals and Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan was now mon uh, managing the Libyan sovereign wealth fund and uh, it looked great for Libya until you realize that the bigger terrorists are Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan they let the real terrorists into Libya. And they now, with the uh, banking system in collapse as it is, and with the bankers in charge, there's no hope for that country at all. All right, Max Kaiser, MaxKaiser.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alex Jones of InfoWars.com.